But first, Australia is defending what appears to be the toughest asylum seeker regime in the world after announcing that no asylum seeker arriving by boat will now be able to settle in Australia. This is our country and we determine who comes here. The smugglers haven't given up and this government will never give up. Border Protection Command is doing things differently. Tony Abbott is calling the flow of boats to Australia a crisis on Australian borders and a national emergency. He says what's needed is a military approach and he's calling his concept Operation Sovereign Borders. Attached to drum lines, 72 hooks will be deployed at eight beaches across the state in the coming weeks. Uh, the government has taken this measure after long consideration. It wasn't a, a knee-jerk reaction. We've been looking at this for some time. The drum lines will be set at two designated kill zones, one stretching from Quinns Beach to Warnborough, the other from Geograph to Margaret River. We straighten the hook out and escape, so we've gone to a bigger hook. We have had some experiences where we use anchors. Positioned only one kilometre from shore, there are public concerns the baited drum lines will attract more beaches. But Mr Cabaluti says it's unlikely. Probably it will only be attractive if they're quite close to those baits. So um, we don't believe it's going to increase uh, any risk of um, attacks. Once caught, be killed and disposed of away from beaches. Obviously the, the, the government's very, very keen to make sure that they're treated humanely if they're going to be destroyed and that the best practice is maintained. The Immigration Minister has travelled to PNG and declared the Manus Island facility will be suitable. I have no doubt at all that a processing centre here on Manus uh, can operate even with a, a, a significantly increased capacity. It's estimated that more than 1,000 asylum seekers have died in or near Australian waters. Well, I'm encouraged by this. I am not complacent. There is more to be done. It's a hard-line policy that has shocked many in Australia and overseas, but the government is making no apology for it.